Okay, um, I'm gonna, this is a quick update on my, um, tiny copter, quadcopter project. This is the main control board here, with the X-Mega in the middle. Um, I have my AVR ISP Mark II clone hooked up, um, because I just programmed it. And my Arduino is providing 3.3 volts to the power supply. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the power supply on here right now, but when I feed in um, 5 volts, which should be perfectly acceptable for the uh, boost converter that I'm using, um, I get like 3.8 volts out, which is not acceptable for the uh, X-Mega or the uh, MPU6050, which is right there. Um, so that's, I'm just feeding in 3.3 volts from the Arduino and my multimeter is in series measuring the current draw uh, just to make sure nothing really bad is happening um, I have uh, X Mega Arduino uh, open here you can see there um, and I just have the blink sketch open um, originally I was going to well I have been trying to uh, let's just see if I can find it uh, make a separate board for my uh, Tiny cap. Sorry about the screen flicker, but um, I've been trying to make a separate board entry for it. But for some reason, when I set the uh, MCU, which is right here, whoa, to anything other than X Mega 128A1, if I try and change it to X Mega 256A3, which is what I have right there, um, the compiler freaks out and I can't. Program it. It's saying something's not defined, but I've looked everywhere, and everywhere I can find what it says is not defined, it is defined. If that made any sense. So I just said screw it, pretty much, and uh, set it to one of the uh, the Spark Fun board, which is which uses an X Mega A1. Um, and this is the uh, pins for it. So. Because I was going to try and set these pins up so they correspond to my device, but that wasn't working. Um, so I just did that. I compiled it. Um, found the raw hex file right there. Right there. And then went into AVR Studio and programmed it. So this is just the blink sketch, and I got it hooked up, and it's working. So this is a huge leap forward for me. See, it's drawing current. Um, if I disconnect the LED, um, it draws about 47 milliamps. Um, the LED on here draws about 20. So if I go to main and erase the device, so right now it's drawing 47. If I erase it, oh, I gotta plug my programmer in real quick. Okay, that's plugged in. Um, if I go and erase it, the current draw drops down to about 20 milliamps, which is just the draw from the LED and the X Mega Idling, which is about a milliamp. Um, and if I program it, so program done goes back up and the extra 20 milliamps corresponds to on the data sheet here 32 megahertz or active 32 megahertz about 20 milliamps so there we go um, major step forward even if it's just a blinking LED but that means now I can start writing code. So, there we go.